I get a lot of like, you do what? And then they look and they go, okay, pinata, and you automatically think, you know, SpongeBob SquarePants or princesses, and you go, oh yeah, yeah, that's a cool idea, sweetheart. I'll see you later. And then they go home and they look at my site, or they'll hear about me through word of mouth. Word of mouth has been amazing. Um, and they'll go, I always get emails from people going, oh, I'm so sorry. This is actually really wonderful. I'm gonna, I'm trying to think of an event now that I want to use you for. And I did not grow up thinking, you know, planning on being a pinata maker. That's for sure. I had a birthday about four years ago and I really wanted to bring something to it. And it was having it at Talent Time, which is a local talent show, and they always have a really cute pinata. So I said, could I make it next month? Because I really wanted a pink poodle pinata. And I thought it would just be like kind of a fun thing to do. I took out a book from the library and like in the arts and crafts section and came back here and I took the donkey pinata and turned it on my floor in my bedroom. And <laughs> I took the donkey pattern and made a pink poodle pinata with white hair. And it was really lopsided and not so cute. But um, it was really fun to smash and kind of created like a bit of a something in me. And just kind of like any excuse, like, oh, I'm going to a party this weekend. Okay, I'll make a pinata. Like just kind of getting myself out there and people going, you're doing what? Why are you doing this? And then a friend of mine is a hairstylist and she was doing hair one day and just talking about this party we've been at the night before. And the girl was really, well, that sounds really neat. My husband hates Steve Martin. Do you, think you could make, do you think she'd make a Steve Martin pinata for me? And she was like, oh yeah, for sure. And she called me up and said, how much would it be? And I think I said like $50 or something. And it took me hours and probably cost me like, you know, $60 to make it, but it was awesome. And then I started getting challenges from other people. I was really sad at work and then I'd come home and I'd sit on my floor and I'd make pinatas. And I thought, this is so, I'm so blissed out when I'm doing this. So I called my parents and I just said, you know, I'm thinking about maybe trying art as a career. I've got savings, like I feel like I can do this. Maybe I'll try it for like, you know, my parents said, why don't you try it for six months and then we'll just see what happens. The moment I made the decision, that was when like Will I Am happened, Vampire Diaries happened, um, Urban Rush happened, Breakfast Television, I started working with the Canucks. I started, just I think I learned that if you really put yourself out there and work hard at something, it always comes back. And I feel like that's the lesson I'm constantly learning. Like you don't get, I don't get any instant gratification from anything. It's not like I'm on CTV and then suddenly I'm famous and I'm working with celebrities. It's like, I take a lot of initiative and I tend to just go places with pinatas. I do street art, I hang them, I send them to people all over the world. I hang them up at a restaurant in kits called Aphrodite's. And last summer, one of the editors of GQ ate there, saw my work, and then I was in GQ in July. And then that turned into working with like, other really big deal names like I worked with a candy company, I worked with Lush Cosmetics, I worked with just like a bunch of kind of interesting, interesting stuff. So. It doesn't seem ridiculous to me because it is my everyday. I've run into a lot of people that I've met over the years who maybe I knew through retail or through just living in Montreal or Vancouver and they say, I'm so not surprised that you're doing art. It's maybe a little bit weird that you're making pinatas because you're like a white girl who's never been to Mexico who's like from Toronto with inch long nails. But other than that, I don't know, I just feel really proud of what I'm doing. But I get it, I get thinking it's totally ridiculous. Like I full on understand it. I remember running into an ex-boyfriend a few years ago who was just like, thought it was hysterical that I had enough orders to hire people. And it wasn't like a way to go, it was like a, this is ridiculous, what are you doing with your life? And I thought, that's pretty awesome, you know, why not? Hi, I'm Megan Kennedy, and I'm a pinata artist.